Climatix IC, the web-based remote servicing system. We log in with our user account via a web browser. In this case, we're taking on the role of an original equipment manufacturer, an OEM. Here, we have a complete overview of all facilities. We are now looking for a plant in which we want to check the status. In our case, it is plant 2044. Now we can, for example, track the data points and their history. We can view the course of the last hour or previous week, and we can now analyze the data points. Next, we'll look at the current alarms and find an overview of past alarms. The green bar indicates that we have the latest version of software installed. In the navigation on the left, we find more features. Under Administration, in the upper navigation, we can create users throughout the company and assign roles and rights. This allows all users to work according to their rights in the cloud. Service Technician. Now we are going to log in as a service technician, for example, an equipment manufacturer or an external service partner. As a service technician, we can only see two systems. We would like to check the facility in the north and click on it. Its exact location appears. We check the status of the system. It is a ventilation system. The displayed parameters help us to immediately recognize the condition of the ventilation system. Via the navigation on the left, we can go even deeper into the details and see the sensors, the measurement history, the temperature sensors, and further information. For this ventilation system, we are particularly interested in the condition of the fan, how it's running, and at how much percent. With just one click, we receive all relevant information and we can react directly. As a service technician, we also check the software of the system to ensure the latest versions, firmware, and files are installed. Green bars indicate that everything is up to date and a remote upgrade is not necessary. If an upgrade is necessary, we can initiate the process directly. To do this, we fix a date and receive a confirmation via email. We can immediately see in the system that an upgrade will start on the desired date. Facility Manager. We are now taking on the role of a facility manager and log in accordingly. The facility manager has completely different needs and receives other information in the system. In our role as a facility manager, we are responsible for two plants. We go back to the plant in the north, which we have already tested as a service technician. We immediately see that the information presented is different. We no longer see all the technical details of the ventilation system, but still enough to see if the system is running properly. All the displays are green and the values are correct. So we get a quick overview to ensure everything is in order. Often, system time schedulers are not set correctly and the systems run continuous operation. As a facility manager, we can remotely adjust the schedule and the holiday calendar settings to optimize the energy supply. If needed, we can create personalized dashboards with individual charts and bar charts. We can use the graphics here and simply drag and drop to insert them into the charts. This gives us a personalized dashboard, which we can send to various users for further use. Owner. Now we log out as facility manager and are going to now log in as an owner. As the property owner, no technical details are displayed. As an owner, we only see our facility. The individualized data is simplified. In this case, it is a Modbus-based network-capable air handling unit. We see the individual components, such as climatics controllers, Siemens valves and drives, which are connected via Modbus. As an owner, 
We have access to other functions. However, they are more limited than those of the service technician, for example. Via the dashboard, we can also access the system control unit remotely from our office. So we can make small adjustments to the system directly without being there in person. Climatics IC, the future-oriented system, 